Hi, Leo. Mr. Kaczynski with you, working on Section S of ISL's Algebra 1 skills. In the last video, we compared linear functions in graph and equation form, and we're going to add tables into the mix here in this video. All right, here we go. The slope of the two functions. Slope is what we're concentrating on. Well, function B, pretty easy. See that the slope is 4. Um, with function A, we got to work a little harder. We're going to look for this increase of 18 here in the y values. And over here, we've got a increase of 6. So that means m is 18 over 6, which is only 3. So a, the slope of a, is less than the slope of b because 3 is less than 4. All right, now we got an equation, or I'm sorry, we got a graph and a table, and again, we're being asked about slope. Okay, on this one, I can see that the rise over the run is one and one. One over one is one. So, and in function B, from negative five to seven, that's an increase of 12, and from negative three to positive three is an increase of six, and 12 over 6 is 2. And 2 is more than 1, so the slope of function A is less than the slope of function B on this one. Now we're being asked about y-intercepts, okay? Well, on function A, that's the y-intercept right there. Negative 5. Uh, B, it's a little bit tougher. We're not given the value of y when x is 0. So I guess we're going to have to figure it out. Um, so here's an increase of 1. Here's an increase of 1. That means the slope is 1 over 1, or 1. Uh, so how about this? If we go backwards 5, from 5 to 0, we're going to have to go backwards 5 here because negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1. And that's going to get us to negative 2 per, for the b value there. Or not negative 2, I'm sorry, but uh, just 2. So uh, 2 is greater than negative 5. So the y-intercept of a is less than the y-intercept of function b. All right, what about the y value of a when x is 3 and the y value of b when x is 3? b is probably the easier one because we can just do 3 times 3 and we get y equals 9. Um, on a, how about we look at slope again? We're always, we're very often, I guess, going to have to look at slope. That's 5 over 1. So the slope is 5. So if we go up 10, now how about, um, excuse me, so if we go up from 1 to 3, that would be an increase of 2, right? That would get us to 3. So with our y values, we'd need to go up, instead of 5, we'd have to go up 10. Okay. I'm I'm almost writing the equation here, but not quite. So that would be from 0 to 10, which is 10. And 10 compared to 9, uh, the function a has a bigger value at x equals 3 than b does. Similar idea here, but we're given a table and a graph, and we're being asked about where x is negative 1. So on function b at negative 1, um, we get a y value of negative 5. Um, what about a? All right, well, let's figure out slope here. Wow, from negative 17 to 19, that's an increase of 36. 
And from negative 3 to 9, that's an increase of 9. 36 divided by 9 is 4. So if we want to go from negative 3 up to literally 2 to negative 1, because that's the that x value we're working with, um, then our y value, negative 17, would have to go up 4 twice, which is 8. So that would put us at negative 9. So negative 9 compared to negative 5, uh, the y value of a is less than the y value of b. Negative 9 is less than negative 5. Got a couple more for you here. Um, all right, we got a table versus a function again, or an equation, and they're talking about the x value of 6. All right, well, let's start with b. I think this is probably easier. They're just basically asking us what's a third of 6, which is 2. All right. So with function a, that's an increase of 3. That's an increase of 2. Um, okay, so to go from negative 2 up to 6, that's an increase of 8, okay? So 8 is 4 times as much as 2, so the increase here is going to be 4 times as much as 3. That's probably the best way I can say it. So from negative 8 plus 12, that would be 4. So the value of function a is greater than the value of function b at x equals 6. One more. All right, we're being asked about slope and y-intercept now. Okay, so let's start off with slope. Increase of 3. Increase of 5. Slope is 3 fifths. Over here. Let's start at, in fact, that's the y-intercept, which we're going to need to identify later. So that's b equals 3. The slope, though, is up 1 over 2. And 3 fifths is greater than a half. So the slope of a is greater than the slope of b. That rules that one out. And y-intercept, we already have the y-intercept of b. We have to figure out the y-intercept of a. Well, how about this? I mean, it should be, it's linear, so exactly halfway between negative 5 and, and 5 would be negative 3. That's halfway between negative 6 and 0. So negative 3 is less than 3. So the value of function, the y-intercept of a, no, it's not equal. Definitely don't want that. It's not equal. And it's not greater than either, so that's not an option for us to choose where negative, where the value of function, the y-intercept of a is less than the y-intercept of b. So we're not going to select either one of those in this case. All right, comparing linear functions, tables, graphs, and equations, good luck. Let me know how it goes in the comments.